Welcome to the Research Methods training part of the Research Methods and Degree project course. My name is Adina Dudo and I will be your um, guide and companion through this process. I will be supported by a team of tutors as well as the course coordinator and you will be advised um, at a suitable time who they are and when you're due to see them. Now, most of the content of this course will be online. It is most but not all of the content. There will be face-to-face -face tutorials in your tutorial groups where you will be able to see and interact with your tutors. Now, as for the content online, this will be a guided journey through videos, activities and discussions ordered chronologically in the way in which we expect you to be able to see and complete them. Now, for simplification purposes, let's think of the research methods training component as a course in its own right. And think of me as the course leader. Together, we will cover in the research methods course everything that is involved in planning for a research project, from what research is, to what a small research project is, what is literature, how we review um, literature, different aspects of methodology, and finally what is normally referred to as research methods, but in reality is only a little chunk of methodology, data collection and analysis. We have organized the content of the course into three main components, basic content, advanced content, and then later on, supplementary data analysis training. Now, it is only the first two that we will assess you for directly through your research proposal. The third one will be assessed indirectly through your dissertation in the summer. Basic content will run you between January and March, advanced content in March. Both contents are for all of you. Through introduction to small research projects, you will be able to look at sample research proposals. Hopefully, you'll be able to identify one which com comes close to your own topic, but you will also be able to contrast those research proposals with the dissertations later on. Then moving on to introduction to research, you will be able to dissect what lays behind labels. Students are always put off by research methods and research methodology simply because of the terminology we're using. All you have to do is unlock that terminology barrier and you will be able to see that research methods and research methodology is really everything we do in life. In the literature review, you will be able to assess other people's work in a topic that is similar to yours. You'll be able to choose whose work comes close to you and how you'd be able to utilize it for your own research. Then finally, you will be uh, guided through the process which Saunders in your textbook refers to as the research onion. Um, there are multiple layers to that onion, but we've structured those layers into three. Research orientation, comprising of research philosophy, in other words, what drives you in your research. Then the middle layer, research strategy. What is that one label which you could use for your research? Is it a case study? Is it a survey? What is it? And finally, research methods. What kind of data you are likely to be collecting and how you might be able to analyze it. These are your research projects. So we aim to show you um, different research proposals in contrast with different dissertations on different topics so that you would be able to see what's expected of you and um, what's expected of you in relation to the kind of topic you've chosen. It may not be the exact topic you've chosen, but it may well be something that comes close to it. So hope you enjoy it 